Hello everyone. Flipping the wings of the judiciary. The judiciary came in the way of implementing many of the steps to facilitate quick social reforms. The contention over property as a fundamental right was severe. The court had obstructed the implementation of the abolition of private purses as well as the nationalization of banks which was almost immediately implemented through a presidential ordinance. In 1971, the 24th Constitutional Amendment Act was put in place that authorized Parliament to amend any provision of the Constitution. This was to overcome the restrictions placed by the Supreme Court on Parliament regarding amendment of fundamental rights in case. In 1972 came the 25th Constitutional Amendment Act providing that giving effect to certain directive principles could not be challenged in court on the grounds of their being inconsistent with certain fundamental rights. In 1973, the practice of appointing the senior most Supreme Court judge as the Chief Justice of India was set aside and Justice A. and Rai was made Chief Justice of India though there were three other judges senior to him. The appointment was politically motivated as A. N. Rai Ray was seen to be on the government side. When the law passed by Parliament giving it greater prowess to amend the constitution had been challenged in the apex court, Justice Ray had voted in favour of the government's view. This was seen as having influenced his promotion. Then in 1975 came the 38th Amendment Act specifying that the satisfaction of the President or the Governor to declare emergency or issue ordinances could not be challenged in court. The 39th Amendment Act of 1975 provided that disputes regarding the election of the President, Vice President, Speaker and Prime Minister could not be heard by the High Courts or Supreme Court but only by a special court to be set up by Parliament. The 42nd Amendment was to further curtail the power of the judiciary. Like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you. Bye.